One of my favorite foods is easily barbecue. Either pork, uh, barbecue brisket, uh, barbecue ribs. I love good barbecue. And in Disney, they have good barbecue. They have good barbecue at Whispering Canyon. Never eaten there, but I've heard. They have good barbecue at Regal Eagle. Uh, the Polite Pig. Uh, Trails End. Never eaten there either. Uh, Flame Tree. Uh, at Disney World, there are currently five barbecue restaurants. That is going to change because of Woody's uh, barbecue restaurant coming soon in 2022. But this trip, me and my father decided to try three of the best barbecue restaurants that are at Disney World currently. And those three that we tried are Regal Eagle, Polite Pig at Disney Springs, and Flame Tree in Animal Kingdom. I want to clarify, Regal Eagle is not owned by Disney, but it is on Disney World property, so we decided to include it. We also ranked them from not not worst. I, I don't want to say worst because they're not bad restaurants, but from not as great as the others to the best that the best of the best. Number one. We also didn't include Trails End and Whispering Canyon because those are two sit-down restaurants, and uh, we were not comfortable sitting in a sit-down restaurant without our mask on. So we did not include those, but sometime we will try them, and uh, I don't know. I, I might uh, give it a mention if it's, if it's outstanding. But anyway, let's go try some barbecue. At number three, we decided it was Regal Eagle. So Regal Eagle is in Epcot in the American Adventure in the World Showcase and we did it's themed after Sam Eagle since it's called Regal Eagle the Muppets and uh, the things that we tried to get were pulled pork sandwiches. Unfortunately Regal Eagle does not have a pulled pork sandwich and it's a brisket sandwich but we decided to get the Memphis Dry Rub Pork Ribs. They also have chicken, a barbecue burger, the brisket sandwich, a, uh, sm a smoked pork platter, but we did not decide to get that. Um, salad with chicken and a power green salad and a plant-based burger option as well. I guess really part of the reason we didn't get the platter is because the ribs are also kind of the number one item on the menu so we we wanted to do that um but anyway the regal eagle uh ribs we mobile ordered them um unfortunately they had a hard outside i, I couldn't really uh bite into them very well uh of course you're not really supposed to bite the outside of ribs but it was very hard to actually get my fork into the rib so I can start eating it. Um, once I got into it, the the meat was very good. Um, again, the outside was 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 hard. Um, once I got inside, the meat did have a uh, good flavor, but again, it was very hard on the outside. So unfortunately, um, kind of difficult to eat. Anyway, uh, the pickles. Pickles were very good. Um, they were the side option, so it came with, uh, I don't know really what what you want to call this. I, I I don't really know what they call it. Let me look at the menu. Um, garlic toast and a choice of sides. So the choice of my side was pickles. Uh, the garlic toast was um, very good as well. Of course, I'm a food. I am. I am a food critic. Of course, I am not a few a food critic. So I don't know how to accurately, uh, well describe, uh, well describe um, pickles. But they were good. Also, the garlic toast was um, very good as well. The the desserts. Um, they're known for the banana pudding. Um, I I personally would have gotten the s'mores brownie, but was a little full. Um, ribs are. Uh, pretty big uh the beverages they have uh fountain drinks and and water and of course um they also have an outdoor bar 
uh, we did not drink. I am not old enough to drink, but my father did not drink. Um, but if you're in, if you want to drink, uh, they have Angry Orchard, Crisp Apple, Hard Cider. Um, they have Cigar City. I'm going to butcher that, so I'm not even going to say it. Um, you can look on the menu if you are very, uh, if you are a beer lover. Um, Bell's Oberon. American Wheat Ale and Sam Adams Boston Lager. So a traditional uh, Sam Adams there. And uh, what's cool is that it's an outdoor bar. So uh, there's outdoor and indoor seating, but the bar is outside and uh, a nice sight, um, especially when we ate there last year and the cavalcades were still going on. The second best was Flame Tree. So for Flame Tree... We went with the pool, the smoked pulled pork sandwich. Also on the menu is half chicken, uh, the ribs and chicken combo, pulled pork, um, a rib dinner, baked macaroni and cheese with pulled pork. I've heard phenomenal things about that. I've wanted to get it for a long time, but not this trip, unfortunately. Actually, at one of the carts, the Eight Spoon Cafe, over near... Uh, over near Discovery Island, uh, they have, well, this is on, this is near, uh, Dino Land on Discovery Island, near here, actually, right, right by, um, if you're going out of Discovery, uh, Dis Dino Land, sorry, if you're going out of Dino Land, you take it right next to Flame Tree, if you keep going down that path, that eight spoons right there, um, they have a shrimp mac and cheese, so pretty cool there. And also the chicken salad. And they have a smokehouse sandwich uh, for plant-based. We've been going to Flame Tree since the first trip we ever went on. And it has never disappointed. And this time it didn't, didn't disappoint either. Um, it had a smokier taste than um, Polite Pig, which I will talk about later. Um... It also has coleslaw on it. I thought it was too much coleslaw. I didn't mind the coleslaw in the polite pig sandwich. This I thought was too much. I had to take some off of it. Um, the barbecue sauce was on the tangier side. Um, but the pork was very good. Um, the pork was phenomenal. It also comes with a side of uh, french fries, and they're just the basic Disney french fries, really. Nothing very um, special. For the 50th, they have some uh, souvenir specialties uh, drinks. They have some ir uh, iridescent firefly with glow, a loggerhead turtle with green glow, uh, the, the cubes. The glow cubes, um, tropical breeze, fr frozen mango, frozen raspberry slushy, and they also have a alcoholic option, island breeze. And uh, if you ever, if you haven't seen these glow cubes, it's it's a cube, but they have a little light in them that glows. But back to the pork itself, uh, very good, very smoky. I I liked it a lot. Um, the only thing that I would Give negatively about the sandwiches. Again, there was too much slaw. Um, a couple bites in, I started not tasting the pork all that much. But once you took, once I took it off, um, I started tasting more of the pork, and the pork is just so so good. We have personal ties with this restaurant, kind of, so it's gonna get personal uh, points. But yes, we we definitely do think that this is the second best barbecue restaurant now polite pig interesting because polite pig is not disney owned it's on disney it's in disney springs uh, let me talk about the golden ale first so my dad got the golden ale said it has a nice ailey tail ailey taste nice ailey taste it was not strong everything that he liked in a beer and Polite Pig has a whole uh, bar as well. They have, uh, they call it all kinds of stuff. But they have ale, beer, wine, uh, Angry Orchard, Bud Light. Uh, they also have um, 
Polite Pig Red, which is Han. Central Coast California Red Blend. Uh, Polite Pig White. Acrobat Organ Pinot Chris. I think that's wine. I'm not a you know wine drinker, of course. They also have Yingling. Uh, so if you like beer, of course, come here. They have cocktails as well. Uh, bourbon. Uh, so a huge, again, a huge uh, bar selection. Whiskey flights. Um, other beverages that they have are water bottle and sodas, of course. Um, but of course, let's get to the actual entrees. So first they have salads. Uh, the plate Caesar salad, the Chipotle Cobb salad, the spring spinach. I did not get any of those. Uh, the sandwiches, smoked turkey BLT, the smoked chicken salad, low and slow brisket, and the fried chicken. But I got the southern pig. And then for sides, they have waffle fries, barbecue, cauliflower, beets, sprouts, potato tots, salad, baked beans, and of course, the macaroni and cheese. So the macaroni and cheese is homemade. It had bread comes on top. It was smooth, stretchy cheese. Once you got underneath the breadcrumbs that you can mix in the cheese is super stretchy uh, nice and smooth really good I of course got the southern pig sandwich like I said the coleslaw I couldn't taste until the end of the sandwich and that was no problem to me because I do not like a lot of coleslaw and this was just the right amount of coleslaw pulled pork was really good a good smoky flavor and the barbecue sauce that they had on it, the mustard barbecue sauce adds to it and isn't too much. A lot of these restaurants down in barbecue sauce, but this was not too much and it added a lot to it. Now, the flavor was amazing, but it did grease, grease drown the basket. And um, when you took the sandwich out of it, the bun was a little wet. But of course, I, I think that's going to happen but um do look out for that uh greased basket because there was just way too much in there it, it was swimming in it when we took the sandwich out to eat it but but the sandwich itself was just phenomenal uh polite people uh <laughs> of course it's going to be the polite pig uh, not too long of a wait um do not sit down before getting a buzzer we were told that because we did we did sit down without getting a buzzer you have to get the buzzer and then sit down just word it wise do not get yelled at like us yeah but can't recommend polite pig enough it was just so so good and of course not disney owned but disney quality food and that is our ranking and review of the three barbecue restaurants that we chose. We have not eaten at Whispering Canyon and Trails End yet. But the Trails End, I've heard more about their steak. So I would think I would get that there. And Whispering Canyon, they recently changed chef. So it might be it, it is it might be better than before, but I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. And that is our review. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we had a lot of fun making it, a lot of fun going to the different restaurants. If you do, let me know what your favorite barbecue restaurant is at Dis on Disney property. Also, while you're down there, leave a like and consider subscribing. It would make me a very happy man. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Have a match match day, everybody. <laughs>